Hey and welcome to Not Only Hollywood. Today I'm going to review May the Devil Take You from 2018. This is an Indonesian horror movie. A man has been playing with dark powers and now he has become ill. His family goes to his old house, but they should never have done that because down in the basement there's some or something who is looking for revenge. And they must open the door that they should not open. Stupid idiots. Stupid. Timu Chayanto is a talented director. He has directed movies such as The Night Comes For Us, Macabre, Killers and Headshot. But sometimes some of the best trips and falls flat on their face. And unfortunately he did that with May the Devil Take You. May the Devil Take You try to pay tribute to the Evil Dead. But it completely fails. The movie is serious and dark, so you can say it's closer to the first Evil Dead movie. None of the characters are interesting. The movie tries to create a bit of friction between the family members. And it slightly succeeds. The only thing that worked was the scenes with the oldest son and the protagonist. They can talk to each other, but the protagonist and the mother of the boy don't like each other. Otherwise, the movie is terrible. I didn't care about any of these flat characters. We get to see some scenes from the past when the mother of the protagonist died. But it's so half-hearted that it just gets ridiculous. Is the movie scary? No, it isn't. It doesn't have the best CGI. The face of a person who's possessed looks bad when the CGI extends the face of the possessed person. It doesn't look good at all. It looks like the scream mask, just with the help of CGI. And that's not cool, is it? We get to see some graphic scenes, but none of these scenes impress. Everything is so generic from start to finish. If only May the Devil Take You had created an unsettling atmosphere and more intense scenes, this wouldn't have been a third of a movie. But May the Devil Take You can't be more generic, and the whole movie is predictable and damn boring from start to finish. To be an Evil Dead clone, May the Devil Take You is a bad, bad movie. It's not creative enough, it's not playful enough, and it has a very boring protagonist who cries and screams too much. Especially towards the end, she screams and moans all the time. It got on my nerves. From 1 to 10, I give May the Devil Take You a 1 out of 10. Terrible movie. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Sleep well.